Hi everyone, very good evening guys and welcome back to GFG practice. Please give me a plus one in the chat guys if my voice is clearly audible to all of you and everything is working fine. Then we'll discuss yesterday's problem of the day that was level order traversal in spiral, uh, spiral format. So hi Rishit as well and hi to everyone else. Hi Mau. Okay. So yes, we'll be discussing this problem that is level order traversal in spiral format. And this problem has been asked in a couple of companies like you can see uh, Flipkart, Amazon, Microsoft, housing.com, Ola and a lot of other companies, right? So what does this problem say? Basically, what you have to do is let's say you will be given a binary tree and you have to do what you have to return the spiral order traversal for it. Okay. So if you see spiral order traversal means starting from river zero for root node and for all the even level, we should print from right to left. Okay, and for all the odd levels, we should print from left to right. So basically, uh, in this case, uh, they are saying, uh, like, let me just check. Okay, so yeah, like this and then, okay. Yeah, so basically in this problem, what we have to do is we have to uh, print the spiral order traversal. So basically, let's say we have a binary tree. Let's say we have something like one, then we have two. Okay, then we have three here. And let's say here we have seven. I think the diagram is wrong or what? Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's take this diagram 10, 20. Okay. So yeah, let's take this diagram that is 10. Then we have got 20. Then we have got 30 here. After that, we have got 40 here. Okay. And we have got what? 60 here. So basically, if you will observe here, what we have to do is we have to return in this order. Okay. Like, first of all, we have to traverse in this way, I think. Right. In this direction, we have to traverse. Then we have to traverse in this direction. And then we have to traverse, I think, in this direction, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So basically, you can see first, you have to print 10. Then you have to print 20, 30. Okay. And then after that, you have to print what? Uh, for, uh, 60 and 40. Right. So this is the order. Basically, First of all, in this way, then in this manner, then in this fashion, and then this in this fashion. So is this part clear to everyone? What kind of order we want? Okay. So basically, suppose that if you are starting from any level, so you can see here, they are saying that uh, we want for all even levels, we print from right to left. So basically, uh, from right to left, they are printing. So let, let, uh, you can suppose this as level zero, let's say. This as level one, and this as level two. So basically they are traversing, they are using a BFS approach only, but whenever the level is odd, then what they are doing is, uh, they want to reverse the uh, order. Okay. That is what we require. So is the problem statement clear to everybody guys, please tell me, and then I will proceed further guys. Uh, is this much part clear to everyone? So we have to apply the breadth first search that is a level order traversal here. And what we need to do is whenever we get an even level, uh, then we have to uh, store like in uh, opposite order we have to uh, store that particular pattern uh, in right to left otherwise in uh, left to right all right so people are clear so firstly what i will do here is let me just write this okay so firstly what we will have is we'll have a queue initially and uh, you can say it will store a node so node star and let's name it as queue and initially we can check uh, suppose that we'll initially write the vector so in let's say answer this will show the final answer and suppose that if it happens that the root itself is null guys okay so if the root itself is null then what we will do is we'll simply return nothing but uh, the empty list okay otherwise what we will do is we'll start traversing so before we start traversing initially we will uh, in the queue we'll simply push what we'll simply insert the root node okay and uh, you can say once we are done with this so initially we'll mark the level as zero also okay then while the uh, queue is not empty till that point of time we'll iterate so while not of queue dot empty right till that point of time we'll iterate and then after this particular point what we will do is uh, like when we are in the uh, current level okay so here uh, in this case when whenever you are in a uh, current scenario so first of all, we'll take the size because that will tell us about the number of nodes in the current level. So it will be nothing but Q dot size. I'll tell you further, like uh, 
let me just uh, do a bit of dry run okay guys so suppose that if you have this thing let me just expand this further suppose that we have an example where we have something like this suppose the, we have 70 also and we have got 80 also okay so suppose we have got this particular example so basically firstly what we will have inside the queue we will have uh, nothing but 10 first of all right so we will insert 10 and since the level is 0 so basically we will mark the size so size variable will be updated with what size we will take the size of the queue so this is the queue so when you take the size of the queue right so size is coming out to be one only okay so for one time we will iterate separately and this guy 10 we will store in a list you can say okay in a in a vector or a list and then what we will do is uh, we will if the level is even so we will reverse this list so basically when we reverse only one element is there so nothing happens and only 10 is there and you insert it in the final answer also after that what happens when you uh, when you move uh, to the next time so uh, size becomes zero and because of 10 you have inserted what you have inserted the children as 20 and 30 also right and then after inserting the child children as 20 and 30 uh, when uh, when the size becomes zero so again we take the size so now the size becomes nothing but two here and what we will do is again we have a list let's say na let's name it as v okay and what we will do is we'll iterate so currently we'll be at 20 when we are at 20 so we will put it inside the answer we'll reduce the size by one so size becomes one okay and then what we will do is uh, for 20 we'll insert the children as 40 and 60 after this point what we will do is we'll take out the next guy that is nothing but 30 so we take out 30 from the array uh, for from the queue and the size becomes zero so basically this indicates that there were two elements in the current level okay then what happens here is we insert uh, 30 also now we check the level since the level is e, since the level is odd so that is why we will not reverse uh, not re reverse this uh, list v and we'll directly insert it so we'll insert 20 and then 30 here okay after that uh, again we declare like we'll make a new list and then uh, we'll increase the level so level gets updated and level will be updated to 2 and we will take out the size again so obviously we have inserted 70 and 80 by now as well and what will happen now is uh, size will become 4 so we take out the first guy so the first guy is 40 so we take it out and we insert it into our uh, list okay after that 40 does not have any children then we go to 60 uh, so we insert 60 inside so size decreases by 1 and then after that by 1 more so it becomes 2 then we get 70 so we insert 70 inside the vector and then the size decreases by 1 so it becomes 1 then we have 80 so we take out 80 from the front of the queue and then the size becomes nothing but zero and here we insert 80 now we check for the level so if the level you will check so the level is current level is what current level is nothing but even so if the level is even then what we will do is we will reverse this list so basically this list will be 80 70 60 and 40 and then we will insert this list so basically what will happen uh, now uh, when we, we insert this reversed list so 80 will be there 70 will be there 60 will be there and 40 will be there so basically you can see this is how we need to do that uh, spiral order traversal that is by taking out the size so first of all as you know what we have done is we iterated in this uh, direction okay then we iterated in this direction for the even level we iterated in the left to right and then for the odd level we uh, sorry for the odd level we iterated from left to right and then for the even level again we iterated from right to left like this so is this part clear to everyone guys please tell me that whenever the whenever the level is even the, whenever the level mod 2 is equal equal to 0 then you will reverse the list reverse v okay v where v is this particular list is this part clear to everybody guys please tell me and please hit the like button guys if you are clear till this point and let me know if there is any doubt till this point okay is there any doubt till this point let me know guys if you are clear till this point, then you can hit the like button and give me a plus one in the chat as well. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. So I think most of you are clear. So yeah, as I said, uh, initially we declare a queue which will be storing the notes and we declare a list which will be storing the final answer because you have to return it. Then if the root is null, so we simply return the empty answer. Uh, otherwise, what we will do is uh, we uh, what we will do is we'll uh, declare a queue and inside it we'll uh, insert the root node and uh, the level will be initially zero until the queue is empty will iterate and we will uh, have a we will have the size that will be the number of nodes in the current level and int v this is the current list that will store the current level okay so what we will uh, do is uh, now uh, here in this case as i said that while the size is greater than zero which indicates the number of nodes in the current level so we'll 
it will help us to store the all the nodes in the current level inside the vector v okay inside the list v so what we will do is uh, if uh, like uh, basically when we come inside so we'll decrease the size by 1 and then we will check if the uh, let's say we will take out the current node so let's say node star current is equal to uh, q dot front okay so we'll take out the front node from the queue and then we will pop it out of the queue guys okay as we do in bfs and if the q dot left uh, is not uh, sorry if the current dot left is uh, current's left is not null okay if the current's left is not equal to null then we will insert it inside the queue so we'll say that let's push inside the queue so let us push what let uh, let us push the current's left inside the uh, queue left child inside the queue uh, okay otherwise uh, we will also check that if the right child exists so suppose that if the right child exists also one more thing since we have taken out the current node so after taking it out we will also insert its data inside the list uh, inside the vector v so we'll uh, say that v dot push back uh, current data okay so whatever current data is there uh, we need to insert it okay inside the uh, vector which is storing the all the nodes of the current level and then we check if the current uh, right, if it is not equal to null, okay, then in such a scenario, what we will do is we'll simply say that let us push inside the queue, let us push the current uh, currents right inside the queue, okay, and then this is done. So after this is done, we will check with the level. So if the level uh, mod 2, if it is equal to 0, so if the level is even as I said, then what we need to do is we need to reverse the list. That is v dot begin reverse v dot begin, uh, begin comma v dot end. We will reverse this thing, and then basically we'll insert all the elements from the list v inside uh, inside this particular thing. That is nothing but the uh, that is nothing but the answer array that I had stored. Like you can see here, that was there. So basically, how will you store it? So first of all, you can say that you will do level plus plus, and before uh, before doing level plus plus, even we need to store all the things now so basically what we can do is we can run a loop for int i starts from zero i is less than let's say v dot size that is the all the nodes of the current level will uh, store it and if they want if they if it if the level was even then we have reversed them as well okay you can see them here all right and yeah so i think yeah so this is fine now what we are doing here is uh, we will insert so we can say that answer dot push back v of i so basically all the nodes of the current level in the respective order will insert and then at the end i think we can simply return the answer that is the list which contains the final order okay so let's try and compile this code and see whether it works or not okay it is saying that there is an error yeah i have not declared the integer level okay now let us see whether it works on the cases or not yeah it works on the samples obviously uh, let us try and submit this code also to see if it gets accepted. Is it clear till now to everybody, guys? Please tell me. Okay, yeah, it gets accepted. You can see that the code gets accepted successfully, right? So again, if I'll show you, so what I have done is uh, basically, first of all, you are having a queue. We are running a BFS because we want to store the lever order traversal in spiral format. So we have a vector int answer, answer for showing the final list. If the root becomes null, then we return the empty list. Otherwise, we insert the root node. Initially, we mark the level as null and we iterate until the uh, queue is not empty, guys. Okay. And what we do is we take out the size of the current queue, which will indicate the number of nodes in the current level. Because as we keep on inserting uh, the children nodes, so the size will change. So that is why we have size, which will tell us how many times we need to iterate in order to store all the elements of the current, all the all the uh, data of the current nodes of the current level okay so yeah basically we'll have a list v which will store this so we'll decrease the size one by one as i said and we'll take out the current node we'll pop it out of the queue and we'll insert it inside the ins its data inside the current list which is storing all the nodes of the current level and then uh, we'll check if the left child exists so we'll push it if the right child exists we'll push it and after this what we'll check is if the level is even then we need to reverse uh, then we need to reverse uh, reverse uh, the list why we need to reverse because whenever the level is even so we want to travel from right to left so we want to print the order in right to left order so that is why we'll reverse it otherwise we'll not reverse uh, if the level is odd and then we simply insert uh, one by one all the elements uh, in the uh, in the final list and then we increase the level as well and in the end we simply return the answer and for doing this uh, since we are traversing 
almost let's say n if n nodes are there total inside the tree so the time complexity that is taken by the code is nothing but the time complexity taken by the bfs so that would be nothing but order of n and if you consider the space complexity as well so considering that i am taking a list uh, uh, for storing each level so for that my space complexity would be order of n in the worst case okay so is this part clear to everyone please hit the like button guys if you are clear till this point and as i said this particular problem has been previously asked in companies like amazon it has also been asked in microsoft and flipkart okay so these are several companies that have asked this and a lot of more lot more are there what is ancestors in a tree ancestor is basically uh, if suppose that you have a particular node no so ancestor is like uh, like uh, the parents parent right grandparent great grandparent or things like that so basically uh, uh, is the problem related is the today's pod related to ancestors yeah let me just copy this code and i'll provide you this code with the link okay everyone is clear till this point ancestor is basically nothing but uh, this uh, uh, grandparent and all that grandparent great grandparent and all Okay, so let me just close this up. Let's run this. Okay, so everyone is clear. Very good. Tomorrow I'll be discussing the next POD. So yeah, I have shared this particular question in uh, uh, with the link. Okay, let me see what's the POD for today. So yeah, it's related to Kth ancestor, and uh, I think this is LCA related problem. Yeah, if you have to find the Kth ancestor, na so. Uh, no, I think it's normal ancestor only. So I think they want to iterate. Yeah, but you can find it in log n time also. So yeah, there are several solutions for it. You can try it out. Okay. So that was it for today's session, guys. Uh, we had to discuss this problem. That is spiral order traversal of a spiral order uh, level traversal of a binary. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I'll discuss this uh, next POD tomorrow. Okay. Till then, keep coding, guys. Please make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already, and make sure to comment. Understood if you have come uh, understood the approach clearly. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, and good night, everyone. Uh, thanks a lot, Mau. Thanks a lot, uh, Guru. Thanks a lot, Rishit. Thanks a lot, Ricky, as well. Thank you, guys. Take care, guys, and keep coding. All the best.